Hi guys, Mike here. In this video we are covering f-string numeric conversions. That means I will show you how to convert an f-string to an integer or float value and the other way around an integer and float value to an f-string. So let's get started. So similar to that video with the string type conversions where we converted text and names to strings, now let's have a look at something similar in Blueprints where we convert strings to integers and float values and the same as float and int values to strings. And you can see the same thing like in the previous videos where we have these conversion nodes and these conversion nodes are nothing more than C++ function calls of the Kismet string library. So let's have a look at C++ how this is done. But before we start converting, there's also one thing that we can do is like a string. It has a is numeric function and it tells, it returns true or false if the string only contains numeric values. And so we could check if the string actually has a numeric value before we convert it or if it has alphanumeric values as well. So let's get into C++ and do the is numeric value first. So let's check and see we create a test string. So with our test string, let's do a f string is numeric. And let's use the ternary operator from last time that we discussed to create a string with true or false based on if the string is numeric or not. So let's say test string that is numeric. If it is, we return a text of true. And if not, we return a text of false. And we use, let's uncomment this and do the same thing, but with f text from string, like we learned before in the type conversions, and display numeric. Compile this, head over to Unreal, hit play. You can see text block. If we execute, then it says true because our string was actually numeric. And you can try this out on your own, changing it like this, and then it shouldn't be numeric. So now to the actual part of this video, the conversion from string to int and float. So we would say to int equals, and what we can do is there is like a fc string class which has static function which has a to d a to f a to e so a to d means double float and integer so what we can do is call this function a to e to integer and as you may remember it from the f name where that function also needed like a pointer to or the dereferencing of that string so what we would do is use it like this and there we have to int. And the same thing goes for floats. So we call it to float equals fc string colon colon a to f. And the same thing here. This is how we would convert strings to int and float and the other way around. So if we want integer to string, we would maybe call it from int and then use in here a string a static function from the f string and call it from int and pass in the to int variable. Floats are a little bit different. There isn't a from float function per se, but because float has precisions and so on. So what we usually would call in here from float is the f string sanitize float function. It kind of like 
has the minimum fractional digits and, and so on. So it's about precision when converting a float string. And we will then pass in to float. So this is how you would convert strings and floats and vice versa to each other. Maybe as a side note, there's another way to convert an integer or float using the printf static function from the fString class. But I'm going to cover printf in a separate video because you can not only convert stuff, but you can format strings and do more things with it. But maybe to show you real quick, the Kismet string library, which the Blueprints also uses for their conversion nodes, that library uses the printf function to convert ints and floats. So maybe I can show you this. And you can see it here. It uses the printf function to convert an int or byte or a flow to it. And as a side note, you can see here, if we convert bool to string in blueprints, it actually does what we did with the ternary operator. It returns an f string based on that bool and returns true or false. There are a lot more conversion nodes in, in blueprints or conversion functions also in C++, which is part of the Kismet string library. So if you want to have a look in there and see how things are done, they all start with conf underscore. And you can see here float to string uses the sanitize float. The vector to string just calls the vector to string function and so on. So there are many more things in here that you can have a look at and see how it is done. And this is the way how I learned to convert blueprints to C++. Look at these nodes, look which functions they call, and then see how it's done in there. And see that most blueprint functions or from these libraries, they just call different functions on their own. So this as a side note, I guess that's it for this video. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I tried to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if I didn't or things were unclear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.